Okay, hi there, welcome. So what we're looking to uh, look at today is all about shoulder impingement, which is what so many people suffer from. And I want to give you two exercises, uh, one long-term, one short-term exercise to help with shoulder impingement. So what is shoulder impingement? Shoulder impingement is generally where in the shoulder here, so the head of the humerus uh, rolls forward. So a lot of people with poor posture will often have shoulder impingement here. And how does that, uh, how does that sort of transpire? Generally with a lot of shoulder pain, a limited range of motion and the reason for this is again because of the head of that humerus so if you look on my mate on pelvis presley here at the moment the head of the humerus is sat beautifully central now what basically happens is if i can take his arm off during shoulder impingement is the shoulder sits forward in the shoulder capsule okay now basically what we need to try and do is we need to try and get that retracted back as much as possible to create more space in the shoulder capsule and the way we do that, if I put pelvis' arm down, is by strengthening these muscles here. So again, what we're looking for is strengthening the rhomboids, but also um, all the rotator cuff muscles. So there's four rotator cuff muscles. People believe there's only one. There's actually a group of four muscles. And it's a question of strengthening all those muscles, again, in the back, to try and pull the shoulders back. What I'm also gonna do is I'm gonna give you a very, very quick exercise to help create more space in the shoulder capsule. So let's go into those exercises now. So the first is a T, uh, almost like a, a T squeeze. We're basically taking the arms out towards the side and all you're gonna try and do is ensure those arms stay at shoulder height. From that position there, what you're looking to try and do is just squeeze the shoulder blades together. It's a very, very, very small movement and what we're looking to try and do is activate the rhomboids in between the shoulder blades. So what you don't want to do is have loads and loads of big, large movements. That's not what we're doing with because that's basically using bigger um, posterior deltoid muscles here to create the movement. What we're looking to try and do is very, very, very small squeezes. Now you can hold these for two or three seconds, but the uh, contraction has to be super strong and relax back off. 10 to 15 of these would be absolutely fantastic. However, you need to ensure that the head does not sink forward. Okay, which is what a lot of people will do to try and increase the power of the squeeze. The head needs to stay neutral the whole time. The arms still up at shoulder height and just a very, very strong pinch together and back off. This is the sort of exercise you can quite happily do at the office, uh, in the car if you're waiting at lights, uh, pretty much anywhere. The more you can do it, the better. And what that does is it aids the retraction of the shoulder from here. Okay, so that's more of a long-term thing, which I want you to try and do uh, every single day uh, for two or three weeks and that should help strengthening those back muscles up. The next one we'll try and do is an instant relief exercise. So if you struggle with range of motion coming up and down or you're getting nervy pain going down through the hands, this is going to create space in that shoulder capsule straight away and give those nerves a bit of chance to rest and relax off. Uh, to create that space in the shoulder capsule, all you need to try and do is basically get a weight. It can be doesn't have to be too heavy, maybe eight kilos, 10 kilos. It could be a cup of um, uh, two little bottles of water or uh, a dumbbell if you've got it. Anything where it's got a little bit of weight to. All you're gonna do from there is you're gonna lie down with one arm up and raised and put that dumbbell in the hand. Okay, what that's gonna do, it's gonna just start to depress the shoulder position. So from this position here, you're allowed to sink down, 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 down which is then creating a lot more space in the shoulder joint and making the shoulder joint, the head of the humerus, sit correctly. From that position there, you're gonna hold it for between one and three minutes. After you've done that, you can place that weight down and st straight away you'll find that the range of motion you have on that shoulder will be increased right away. These are two very, very quick and simple fixes uh, for shoulder impingement, anterior shoulder impingement, Obviously there's a whole load of different uh, problems that can be created from the shoulder, so if you're not too sure, go and speak to a physio first, but I hope this has been of some help.